Okay, here we've got something quite interesting. It's a Polish a Generation 3 Rebel Soldier, Hoff Rebel Soldier, from about 19, mid-90s, 94, 95. And this is a bootleg figure. So Poland, Hungary, are very famous for their bootleg figures because in during the Cold War, when the Iron Curtain was still pretty strong over Eastern Europe, they weren't allowed to make, well, import Kenner figures, so they had to obtain Kenner figures and make their own. So the head and the torso are from the Rebel Soldier, and the arms and the legs are from the Biker Scout. And this figure is called, in Polish circles, the third generation figure. So it's got a grey helmet, white, light grey body with red detailing, black gloves and black boots. And then next to it you've got a Hong Kong rebel soldier. So this is the Kenner version. And the head and the torso there would have been used to, for the mould to make the Polish version. But they didn't use the arms or legs, they just used um, the arms and legs of the Biker Scout or ATST pilot. So Polish figures are famous for that. And you can see that the detailing is not as good as the on the this version as the Hong Kong version. Really nice figure this one. Had that since my childhood. Very good condition. Uh, Rebel Soldier, Hoff. I'll show you what it says on the if you can read it there. 1994 Polish bootleg Star Wars loose action figure. Hoff Rebel Soldier Grey, dark grey helmet, black boots, 85 near mint, and there, loose action figure, Polish graded. There's the back of the figure. I'll show you the back of the Rebel Soldier. You can see it's pretty similar. And there's the back of the legs. So that's your Polish bootleg Rebel Soldier and your made in Hong Kong rebel soldier really nice this figure has quite a lot of variations the most famous being the dark brown instead of this color it's going to be dark brown that's really goes for a lot of money there's one on eBay now going for about 300 pounds loose it's a really major variation the dark brown uh, rebel soldier and here we have the Polish figure really nice with the red detailing there looks really great uh, Polish figures I think if you go on a uh, Star Wars collectors archive or just google it you'll find there's a, a little bit of information about Polish figures and the generations this is a third generation and how common these are we don't know but you, they seem to come from either Germany or Poland. There's Hungarian figures as well and then there's tu the famous Turkish figures as well. So there's your bootleg 94 Rebel Hoff Rebel Soldier. Really nice. I've got a couple more of these on the way. I've got Darth Vader third generation and Han Hoff as well. So that's your Polish Rebel Soldier, Hoff, third generation. So for more information, just go to Google it and you'll find quite a lot of facts about these figures. There's second generation, first generation, and there's figures that are just made out of rubber. That This one's made out of rubber as well, hard rubber. And you can tell the f er earlier generations by the way these arms and legs plug into the uh, figure. Early figures had just a uh, whether it was kind of rounded uh, stump that went into the arm and that was kind of the f tended to fall out so now later ones have a like a like a plug on it so it doesn't fall out. So that's your early Rebel Soldier. 
and the original 1980 Hong Kong Kenner version. So, I mean, they look so different. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. So you've got your Hong Kong and Poland figure. Um, you can get these in the US as well. I think the Boba Fett one's worth quite a bit of money. Obviously, that's because it's Boba Fett. Really nice. Okay, bye.